No, nah, ain't no editing. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Wait, wait, time out. Three. Do you want me to say two. my name or just be like, hi? What my name you? is. <laughs> I don't care, bro. You can say your name, but say right. your say your your stamp, your stamp, your Instagram, whatever you want to okay. want to do. All right, all right, and you've been rolling this whole time. Yeah, right. of course I've been rolling this whole time. You think I'm stupid? All right, hi everyone. My name is Dave, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about the HJC i10 helmet. This is my personal helmet. I just bought it. I had it for about two, three weeks now, and I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the actual mold itself. Uh, pretty aerodynamic. I mean, actually, like I've been, I ride every day. Do you and, work for Fast Religion? No. Why? Why the hell are you saying mold and stuff? Talk to me like I'm your friend. Man. I am okay. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Start all over you now. you trying to be all professional? This is a customer Fuck. review. All right. Alright, well now now you tell me what you want since you've been No, 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 no. Come on, bro. Come on, let's keep going. Alright. Alright, but I'm just saying, I'm your friend. Send me him. I that was my job to tell you about the I'm I'm just gonna be like hi. The polyurethane and the mold of the helmet and all that. That was my job to do that to you. But I'm just your friend trying to buy him. Alright, you ready? Yeah. And three, two, one. Hi everyone, my name is Dave, and uh, I'm here to talk to you about my new helmet. It's the HJC i10. A uh, couple things about it. It uh, I've had this helmet for a few weeks now. I bought it, and I ride every day. So I do a lot of interstate riding, so it's a lot of wind and not really high speed because I'm a cruiser boy. So most of the time it's like 90 mile an hour tops. But uh, I mean, even at that speed, whenever like, uh, like it splits through the wind, pretty well like I don't feel a whole lot of drag or anything like that I can feel it like actually kind of like just breezing by even to the point where I check over my shoulders or anything like that and it doesn't feel like it's catching a whole lot and uh, it doesn't even like move around a little bit it just kind of like you know splits through it uh, the vents on it this one you got the one in the front two right here on the top and this one right here in the forehead I got all of mine open right now but uh, this, this front one, at least, whenever you have it open, at any speed, you can actually feel a lot of airflow coming through. Like, it comes, like, around the cheeks and everything like that. And then up here at the top on these two, or these two on the top and this one on the front, you can feel that kind of blowing through your hair and coming out the back end of it. And so, you know, if you're looking for something with airflow, I, you know, this, this one's got a pretty good amount of it. Uh, another little thing that I really like about it that my last helmet didn't have is right here in the front, you uh, flip this up, and that's how you open up the shield. It's actually really convenient. You don't really think about it until you have it, because a lot of times you kind of like fiddle from the side of it, right? Here. Most helmets have it like right there on the visor. This one's right here on the front, and it locks down. And the thing is, if you push it all the way down and click, it's locked into place until you flip this little tab up and you push it. But, you know, whenever it's like really hot outside, and you kind of want that little visor crack. If you don't push it all the way down, just kind of sit it there, you still, you get, it gets that little gap right there at the bottom of the shield, even more airflow to go through. So, aerodynamic one thing, and a lot of airflow for another. Uh, another thing I want to say too is the actual pads on the inside. Uh, the last helmet I had, I had it for about five years, so it could just be new helmet things, but it's also a lot quiet. Wind noise and exhaust sound, it's not definite. It doesn't make you feel like you need to ride with earplugs or anything like that. But uh, all in all, great helmet. I highly recommend it. I'm happy with the purchase. And, I mean, you know, it's solid color. I did that. Uh, same day I bought the helmet, I also got these uh, Joe Rocket Mercury gloves. I don't know if they come in any other color other than brown, but that's what I was going for. Kind of give it that old school cafe racer kind of style look. But there's not really much old school about them when it comes down to how they're actually made. You still got the knuckle pads, you know, a little bit hard protection right there. And they're already like molded where they're, the fingers are curved and stuff like that. So you don't have to like break them in like that. Whenever you put them on your hand, it doesn't have a problem like gripping the handlebar or anything. Uh, the bottoms of them is got the vinyl leather mixture or whatever in it. So, you know, there's not like any slipping on the grip whenever you twist the throttle or whenever you ride them. Uh, the mesh in it, pretty good airflow. I would say that these aren't really summertime gloves. They do get a little hot, 
but they're definitely not winter gloves either. Like if you're using these during the cold months, your hands are gonna get cold. That's just hands down, but it's also not like the super good airflow. One thing I do like about them, uh, I don't like, I, I do have some gauntlet gloves, but I don't normally wear them because they just look kind of goofy when I'm not wearing a jacket. They do come up past the wrist, and uh, but they don't go up too far. You do have this little pad right here that kind of like gives you that wrist protection in case you do go down. And so you have a pad right here on the inside of your palm, outside of your wrist, and you have that knuckle protection right there. And the palm, like the whole bottom of it being that you know durable leather vinyl mixture, in case you do happen to go down and slide or whatever, it's not gonna like really hurt your hand all that much. And you know, you got all that extra padding and protection. Uh, again, I really like them. If I can find them in another color, I'll get another set pet, uh, another pair of them whenever it's time for new gloves. But as of right now, these are perfect. The helmet's perfect. Everything goes good. I have no idea what you're name. My name. Your name. Yes. My name is Dave. Okay, you, give, you want to give any shout outs uh, to uh, your Instagram? Uh, my or? Instagram is uh, Sick Fitty. It's S I C K underscore F I D D Y. Post a lot of pictures on my motorcycle. So if you're into Yamaha's cosplaying as Sportsters, then hit me up. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for good helmets, awesome gloves, and just cool people to be around, go shop at Fast Religion. That's what I did. And uh, yeah. All right, you're not a paid actor, right? No. Nah, okay. All right.